What's up everybody, Chris at Dentless Touch, back again with the Inside the Dent vlog. It's a little later in the day, it's about 9.30, I had to do some admin work and I'm pretty sure you guys did not want to see that. So let me show you what the task is for today. We got two appointments, the first one is a Land Rover. Let me show you guys. Ah, I wish, I'm pulling you late guys. Let me show you what I'm really working on. So I want to fill you in on the my approach. I'm going to go through the window on both doors. That's the most economical way of doing things. Instead of taking off the door panel to gain access, I'm just going to go through these windows. So the real issue is trying to get right there on the very edge uh, on both sides. I have a tool for this, and I'll show you guys in the video. But this one right here, you just need to use a whale tail and you probably need to use a dolly to knock the edge down. So looks a little stretched, but I think this metal will be able to handle the pushing. So let's get started. Just so you guys know, the reason why I'm running two lights is because this is the light that you guys are using for the camera, and this is the light that I'm using. That's the only reason right now I would run two lights. So, if anybody's wondering. Uh, sorry, I gotta get in here for the wind. But I just wanted to share with you my thoughts. I'm gonna start glue pulling that dent. It just has a shallow low right now, roughly about three inches. So I think the best, instead of uh, pushing, all of that out, um, which I'm, my, my arm is fatigued, my wrist is, is hurting. So I think just using glue should should help that out. And then I can just fine tune it with the uh, door tool that I have. 
Right now, the only tool that's working is the PDR Finesse 245 tool, which you see in the video. Um, and that's because it's sharp and it's the only way to move metal uh, right now. That that metal is com that, that metal is something else. Um, every every manufacturer just has their own thickness, makeup of the metal properties, but this is just a tank. So it's just requiring so much effort. The Stanliner tool was actually perfect because the metal is a lot stronger in those tools, but without the flexibility of the adjustable handle, I'm just, I'm, I'm getting fatigued so fast and I don't have the power that I normally have um, with an adjustable handle too, because I can get it to a point where I'm actually using my whole body. To, so that's why I'm using that tool instead of the standliner tool. But let's keep going. another reason why I love that hammer um, I use it for the edge no marking it's just beautiful it disperses the metal so evenly let me show you what it looks like this is before anything this is right after just moving that edge and so you probably see something here right there and that I have to use the other tool for that um, that wasn't caused by the hammer that was already there and then there's one up here so not too sure how i'm gonna get this out though because it's it's double layer it's a uh, it's where the pinch weld is <laughs> On to the next appointment guys, let's go. So just made it to the next stop and similar to yesterday, it's uh, all around, uh, like all around damaged car. They said it was just a few dents on the car guy just bought it so i figured it'd be fairly clean or just one dent that would be uh, the one that he wants to get done but it looks like he wants to get all of them done the estimate is definitely over a thousand dollars so we're trying to figure out time wise can i actually get it done in the you know the six seven hours that i have we'll see but i think i'm gonna have to come back for this car but you know, these are the curveballs we have to deal with and maybe i just didn't ask the right questions but what it seemed like is is that when the car came here 
uh, they started noticing more and more dents. So the two that he he kind of requested turns into about 17, 18 more. So just submit the estimate and we'll see what happens. So what we have right now is he only wants to get the obvious done, makes sense. But we're gonna have the right front door and then the trunk lid that I showed you guys. We're gonna attempt that. Other than that, I'm gonna throw in a few dents. Very easy guy to work with, so I'm gonna throw in a few for him, especially the easier ones that I can knock out since I already will have my tools out. Uh, but let's get started on this door. And the reason why I'm working outside is I just like the space, the solitude a little bit. I've been inside all day and uh it's a nice day it's about 72 degrees outside right now so i'm just going to enjoy the weather um and work outside so let me show you this repair outside so what i'm thinking is if i brace put something here right there and right there and then knock down this crease i think that's going to help me out a lot and save me a ton of time I told the customer that it's probably gonna be about 90% improvement, but the areas that will kind of still be, I guess we'll still kind of have some modeling going on, uh, will probably be underneath the mirror. Uh, so you won't see it. And then because the mirror is here, it doesn't catch the eye. You don't get a kind of a clean uh, sight line if it was out in the middle of the door. So I think we can hide everything as long as we get this lower portion back to uh, its original shape. But I think we'll be okay. I mean, this doesn't seem like it's damaged too bad, so. And they already are a night everything, so. It's like a win-win. Let's get started. for the light flickering I don't have my big light so
almost there. So I want to show you guys, I got my Stucky light and I don't think it flickers so I don't know why that limited light flickers. I got two hands here but the den is here or was here. Just keep the eye on that. So, came out pretty good. Honestly, didn't think it would come out this good, but uh, it's closer inspection. It was just a, a paint transfer. It wasn't even a scratch, so that's what I was worried about, but the paint held up well. There's a little divot inside the paint, but I think it's very acceptable. You guys can see the natural light. All right, guys, so that's it. It's the end of the day. It's roughly almost 7 o'clock. I'm just getting home. Great day. Got a lot of stuff accomplished. Um, actually worked on that. Um, Lexus pretty much did everything other than two panels that he wanted. So that worked out great. As soon as he actually saw the work and the work quality, uh, he basically was like, go ahead and do the next panel, next panel, next panel, until we pretty much ran out of time. So, hey, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.